Hello, welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. Today we're in our Kennewick studio and we're interviewing government leaders about what they're working on for you. Today we have Benton County Commissioner Jerome Delvin. Thank you for joining us. Nice to meet you. Dan. Now you got a three-tenths percent sales tax through. Correct. And that helps law and justice and that's been going since the first of the year. How's that working for you? Well, I just checked uh, uh, recently, 3.9 million dollars have come into the county for the mm -hmm. county share of that, so it, the, I think it's a little above what we expected, which Great. is good, so yeah. that means retail sales are going good. And we started uh, releasing some of the money for the different programs that we promised uh, the taxpayers that we were going to fund with it. Oh, well, you can do some damage with not $4 million. So. Well, certainly, <laughs> certainly, but it has to be sustainable too. Right. It was a 10-year initiative on the, uh, on the vote, so 10 years it could go away unless the voters uh, act to, to reinstate it. So uh, we started on the mental health court, um, that process going so there'll be a mental health court in the county. Also we've released uh, monies for the sheriff to hire new deputies that was promised uh, to the voters. So mm -hmm. that's in the process of, of screening applicants and buying the equipment that they'll need. And how many will they get please? Uh, they will, they will uh, in the end they will have um, seven new deputies I believe. That's good. And then also um, we're looking at the gang because we uh, put some of the money for gang uh, intervention, uh, juvenile crime. So we're trying to, I'm working on that myself, on trying to put together a group of community uh, leaders and law enforcement schools to try to figure out exactly how we're going to use those funds. So Wonderful. I think progress, things are going. Um, and, and so I think it's going to be a benefit for, for the Benton County residents. Wonderful. Well, then, as you, if this is our first year out the gate, as you're projecting forward, assuming our sales will continue to do as well, what do you hope to fund next year? Well, we're, we funded, uh, we're going to fund a seventh uh, judge, Superior Court judge. That was uh, promised to the voters, so that uh, we just had one um, appointed by the governor, and so that will start using some of that money uh, at the first of the year for that, to support that position. Uh, more deputies will be hired um, if the caseloads goes up because if you have more deputies working the road, of course, uh, they're more active, I mean, they're being active, and so uh, that may increase the loads on the courts, and so the money was set aside to for staff for the courts for that position, for those makes positions too, so. Makes uh, sense. One, one yes. foot follows the other. <laughs> certainly. Well, certainly. certainly. And then... Um, Speaking of that, it seems like people have adjusted somewhat to legalized marijuana and you're moving down that path in the county as well. Well, you know, we were, we were kind of waiting to see what would happen once the initiative passed and there was conflicting advice given by attorneys, which is not unexpected. You know, attorneys have opinions. It's a and, new path, and, and, right. and <laughs> a so new trail. It, it, it was. Blazed. I mean, I worked for many years in the legislature <laughs> on the medical marijuana issues to try and to bring that into some kind of a structured uh, a plan, you know, that this, the the state could deal with it, and and but once this initiative, uh, I think it forced a lot of people to look at, okay, and then how are we going to address it? And so the county, we kind of made one uh, assumption: well, we'll just not allow processing in certain zoned lands, um, which was fine. Uh, but then, we, and we didn't um, prohibit the grows. Well, then I think some some entrepreneurs that were going to have these grows decided to put one in a residential area, a pretty residential area in the county, and that, that started the ball rolling, ball rolling on how we're going to uh, look at those type of grow operations in what kind of zone. So we had to put an emergency moratorium and stop that from happening in those rural areas. The funny thing is, is that there were six or seven out there already, and no one had ever complained or we'd never heard any bad... Uh, issues or issues, you know, from the law enforcement or the neighbors, but then I think this was right out in the open and I think that caused a lot of people to rethink. And so we reacted to that. Um, now we're looking at maybe, you know, looking at uh, limiting the retail because uh, under this new law that passed last legislature, the, the medical marijuana shops have to become a retail establishment. They have to be licensed. And so there's some of those mm -hmm. in the county that, w that we're just now finding out about. Well, it is it is a new trail to be forged in the respect that many neighbors do not want that in their backyard, but it is legal, that's moving forward, and there's some money to be made there, especially from a tax perspective. So Right, and the new legislation um, will share that with the counties and cities that allow that. I mean, I, that I don't think was a, a 
overreaching factor of why we're going to do what we did in this county. It's not about the tax money that may or may not come in. I, I think we looked at it as a board that, you know, it's an initiative passed by the people. We don't always agree with everything, but, you know, let's try to honor. Uh, it's one thing I learned in the time I was in the legislature that that's, that initiative process is pretty important to people, pretty sacred to people. So, you know, we didn't vote for the governor, but he's our governor too in this, in this county. So, you know, it, 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 it didn't pass in this county, but it was only 54% voted against it. So we wanted to try to accommodate both you know, in a way that, that, you know, really looked at common sense but met the needs of the people that didn't want it right next door to them. You're going to have to share this with Congress. <laughs> <laughs> and let's, you touched on this a little bit with the duality. You served for many years in the state legislature as a senator, the position yes. that Sharon Brown has yes. now, and now you're serving the county. And that duality, I think, really helps you to benefit your your citizens in your current position. Oh, and perhaps you could share a little bit about how you work back and forth with your state knowledge. Oh, sure. And and, and I think that's benefited, as you say, um, because these last two years, uh, this is my third year, but the last two years I've been over in Olympia working county issues, you know, and, and I certainly have a different perspective now um, because we are kind of the... Uh, stepchild of the state, I found out that, you know, the state, you know, and, and I, I, I'm probably guilty of, of passing some laws, you know, and, and put the burden on the county. So, um, so I've been over there uh, working, I think, you know, the marijuana uh, issue that um, working with the senators that were, were spearheading that is to, you know, you need to look at the counties and the cities, you know, the state can't have all that revenue if, if you're going to, you, know, you need to share the revenue. So worked on that, uh, the transportation package that was passed by the legislature. I worked on, on getting votes for our, because there was five important projects in that. Um, and then just, uh, I, I have a lot of relationships over there still, and so I think it benefits the county association to go over there and work uh, county issues statewide on a statewide basis. So, I, sure. I, Absolutely. so it's good to visit, but I certainly don't miss Olympia. <laughs> Well, it's nice that you have that knowledge and those connections when you need to get some work done. So well, I think I learned, what I learned, I'm certainly going to use it, yes. Jerome, thank you. Thank you. This is Jerome Delvin, our Benton County Commissioner. I'm Dana Cowley. You're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest.